All right, good morning, everyone. I am uh, Rafael Salamanca, Jr., Chair of the Subcommittee on Planning, Dispositions, and Concessions. Welcome to today's hearing. Uh, today we're joined by Councilmember Andy Cohen, Councilmember Darlene Mealy, Councilmember Mark Traeger, and we have Chair Greenfield here with us. Today we'll be voting on Edwin's Place application LU 792 through 795. These are applications by HPD for a zoning map change from R6 to R7-2 slash C2-3. A zoning text amendment to establish a mandatory inclusionary housing area, a zoning special permit to allow community facility floor area to apply to nonprofit supportive housing, and an urban development action area project UDAP designation, project approval, and disposition approval for city-owned property of 3 Livonia Avenue in Brooklyn. These actions would facilitate the development of a new eight-story building with 125 supportive and affordable housing units and ground floor retail or community facility space. This project is in Council Member Mealy's district. Um, and with that, we're gonna hand it over to Council Member Mealy. Well, I just wanna say thank you, Chair. Thank you, my co-leader of the Brooklyn delegation for his hard work and um, advocating for this. I want to thank the mayor for the three centers. And I can say thank you, Breaking Grounds, for the community input that you would be giving. And I just want to thank my colleagues. I want to thank David Greenfield for um, coasting this through and making sure that the community is whole. I wish it was much more affordability for people who have jobs, but Instead of getting nothing, I'd rather give a whole lot back to my community. And I wanna thank, may, I wanna thank Ms. Ume. Ume, she helped from the mayor's office to make sure that this was a positive experience for myself and others. So with that, I will be voting yes. And Chair, don't smile so much. Take it easy. All right, <laughs> All right awesome. thank you. Yeah. Are there uh, any questions from members of the subcommittee? No. Uh, I want to recognize we've been joined by Councilmember Annabelle Palmer. Uh, and with that, I will now call a vote for LU 792 through 795, the Edwin Place application. Council, please call the roll. Yeah. Um, Chair, may I say something else? Uh, that, yes, go ahead. I just want to thank my colleague, Annabelle Palmer, of Women Power. Um, talking me through, yeah, we, uh, let me give you a hand for that. And I was thankful for her keeping up with what was going on, and she lives in the Bronx. So thank you so much, and sharing your experience. Thank you. Vote to approve LU 792, 793, 794, and 795. Chair Salamanca. I vote aye. Council Member Mealy. I vote aye, thank you. Council Member Rodriguez. Aye. Council Member Cohen. I vote aye. Council Member Traeger. Yes. A permission to briefly explain my vote? Mr. Chair? I'm sorry, yes, go ahead, Council Member. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chair. I, I, just, I just want to say publicly for, uh, on the record that I could not be more proud of my colleague, Council Member uh, Darlene Mealy, the co-chair of the Brooklyn delegation. This entire process, she's had the interest of her district in her heart. And in the bottom of the ninth inning, I think she scored a major home run for her district, adding additional community benefits in addition to serving uh, her, her residents who, who need this. And so I am so proud to call you a friend and colleague, and congratulations on this major victory. And with that, I proudly vote aye. The land use items are approved by a vote of zero in the affirmative, zero negatives, five in the five affirmative, five yeses, zero negatives, and zero abstentions, and referred to the full land use committee. Thank you. I would like to thank the council and the land use staff for preparing today's hearing and the members of the public and my colleagues for attending. This meeting is hereby adjourned.